guys, what's going on? It's Carl. All that footage that I just took was from the camera. I know a ton of you have asked what camera that I've been using to both record my vids while I'm traveling, to take all of those silky smooth Insta shots, and this is the video on my favorite full frame camera of 2019. So we are on our final part of our Asia trip. We're currently sitting in an airport on our way to Bangkok. We've got one more stopover and then heading finally back home. And most of you know, the camera that I am bringing with me pretty much on all of my travels is the handy Sony a7R 3 And I truly think even though it's around a year and a half, close to two years old, it's still one of the best full frame cameras that you can currently get. It's either between that or the Sony a7 III, which is $1,000 cheaper. But this guy, you get a 42.5 megapixel sensor. It is perfect for taking stills. Maybe if you're just looking to get outside of the Instagram game and say, post some of those for prints. So is that $1,000 price difference worth it? And I think if you're buying new, I would still tend to kind of gravitate towards the a7 III. The fact that this guy's a bit older now, I've definitely seen them on sale or even getting them secondhand, you have more versatility. But if you're looking at solely video purposes, which I think most of you are, if you are watching this episode, then I would stick to the a7 III. Save the thousand bucks and buy better glass. And the thing that I love about the Sony A7 series compared to other full frame options like the Canon 1DX Mark II, I see all of you out there trying to carry those things. They are massive. This guy is super portable. I can keep it in my pack, still have a couple lenses and have an ultra light weight setup. Second thing is of course the picture and video quality that you can get out of something this tiny. It is just kind of mind blowing the fact that I can carry this guy with me anywhere. I've had it in say deserts in cold weather, but the thing is an absolute beast. Third is the battery life that's been improved over say the predecessor, the A7R2. That's the thing that I didn't like about that cam. I would burn through maybe three to five batteries a day. With this guy, I can easily survive an entire shoot with just one battery and we're getting interrupted by the good old sound here in the airport. I can easily survive with one battery for the shoot and I can charge it now with either a USB-C cable, micro USB, or just the proprietary charger it comes with. And probably the coolest thing is the 35 mil crop, which essentially gives me two different framing options. I can crop in one and a half times zoom. So now my primes that I'm traveling with have two different focal ranges and we'll actually switch to the next location to talk about the lenses as that's probably the most important thing around image quality. So let's do it. We're actually now in the second leg of our trip. We're in the Hong Kong airports. <laughs> So the second most important thing for a cam is probably the lenses. And if you watch my tech travel pack, you know that I'm traveling with a couple primes. The main reason for those are they're just a bit more lightweight and more compact than say some of my zooms. Caton's currently recording on the baddest 18 mil. That's an F 2.8. And for all my portrait shots, I am with the silky smooth baddest 85 1.8. I thought that was a 1.4 for a sec. I'll actually roll through both. So these are examples of the 18 mil. And for a lot of the Instagram portrait shots, they're with this guy. Here's some examples of those. And back home when I'm in the studio, I usually have the 16 to 35 G Master. That's the lens I'll be bringing with me when I'm going to San Francisco for, of course, the S10 event. That's kind of my travel go-to. Leave all my lenses linked down below. And the third most important thing about any sort of photos is the final step, which of course is editing. I shoot all my photos in a fairly fat, fat, a fairly fat bro flat profile. I know that this cam can do stuff like S-Log, but I am in just the portrait sort of setting, the portrait color space, minus one on the saturation. When I do bring all my photos in, I am using Lightroom, and I know a ton of you guys were asking how I do some of my edits. They're pretty simple. If you want me to leave some of the, say, the presets that I have, I can leave them maybe linked down below. The things that I do regularly tweak are just kind of decreasing the black levels, upping the whites. That's pretty standard for any sort of photo editing, perhaps bumping up the saturation of certain colors, and it really depends on what kind of look you're going for. So if I'm looking to boost, say, certain colors, like yellows, like greens, maybe even hints of orange, I can do so within Lightroom. 
So yeah, that is essentially the best full frame cam in my opinion. Either grab the A7R3, or if you're looking to save some money, a thousand bucks cheaper, the A7 III. It is the perfect travel camera. Big ups to Caden for currently recording my footage right now. I'll leave his Insta link down below. And just remember, it's all about the lenses as well as the editing. And hopefully this video was of some use and I will edit it on this 14 hour flight back to Toronto. We'll catch the rest of you in one of my next episodes, hopefully back in the normal studio, but I am heading to San Fran technically tomorrow. Travel life. Peace.